it's Kara with Be Inspired, and as promised, this is going to connect. <laughs> uh, I got my Magnolia Craft Club box, and I want to share it with you guys because it's like it was made for me. <laughs> so we're going to have some fun. I have not used their ink yet, so we'll see how that all goes. So as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're from. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pin a comment. So we can see who's here. Hi, Rosalind. How are you? Did you guys have a good Easter? How's everybody doing? Okay, let me get that on there. Should be good. Hey, Judy. Lots of you ladies popping on. Hey, Ashton. How are you? Did you guys have a good Easter? Let me get my little comments. See if it did that. Hey, Billy. So we're gonna have some fun. Um, today we have a Magnolia craft kit. Um, oh, Facebook is like sending me. You have, oh my gosh, there's like a hundred of you guys on here. Like Facebook like flashed something. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, Alice is a newbie from Indianapolis. Well, welcome. So this is just a once a month um, live. I don't do this um, any other time than when I get my box. So if you're not familiar with um, the Magnolia Craft Club, you can click the link that's pinned post. Um, it is a craft club and you get a surprise box every month. It's pretty cool. All the supplies that you need to make the project. Uh, it's really reasonably priced because it's $19.99 plus $5 shipping. Um, and it's just a fun way of just getting something in the mail and crafting. So, and this one you'll see is perfect. Ashton's doing great. We had a good Easter weekend. Yes, everything was great here. My brother came up from Fort Lauderdale, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Myers. Um, somebody from Vegas I just saw. Lots of food. Lots of food. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Hey, Dawn and Missy. Oh my gosh, lots of you ladies on. Valerie, it's so good to see you. Um, this is our lunchtime live. If you don't know what this is, it's like pop in when I can during the week um, and do the lunchtime lives. Things have changed up a little here. So if you're not on our texting, get on our texting because that gives you the best. Hey, here we are. Hey, Nettie. Okay, so that's what I said. So I, this is my third box or second box. I'm not 100% sure. Now, I am a creator for Magnolia. Um, so if you use my link, I do make a commission off of it. So I'm being transparent with you on that um, uh, project. And I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So, hey, Lynn. Okay. I told you guys it was like made for me. <laughs> so you're going to get, okay, uh, let's, let's just get to the good part. Let's just get to the good part. So the Magnolia Company, it's um, transfers, a reusable adhesive transfers, and they come with like chalk paste and chalk ink. Um, lots of you ladies probably seen um, them already, but I just decided to, to get my little kits. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Spread the honey. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's just get to the good part. <laughs> it's like they knew I signed up. Um, but look. Oh, wait, so, so the way the craft kits work is you get a transfer, okay? What's nice is it's yours. You can use it not only for this project, you can use it for other projects. This month, they also give you the surface, which is nice because it's a complete kit. You have what you need to make the project. It's not go get a surface, go get this, go get that. Everything you need is in the box. Hey, Wanda. So you have your little transfers. And then they gave you the prettiest. You guys know my yellow. This is my color This that I'm accenting. So I'm super excited. So when... If you watched the live from last month, we made the bunny um, tea towels. I always have a tea towel that hangs on my oven door. I just like that. We made one last month if you catch the live. Um, and so now I'm changing it up. Hey, Shelly. So they give you two towels. Two. <laughs> um, and they're really, they're really big. They're really big towels. <laughs> Um, 
super good. And I love the design. So I love stripes. I love um, the yellow. Um, so what's nice is I, they gave me two towels. So if I wanted to, I could gift one for Mother's Day um, or gift it to a neighbor, whatever you want. Guys, if my internet is bouncy for some reason. Oh, the shirt. Uh, this is one that I pulled out of the vault. So if you go to the blog, Be Inspired Market, or not Be Inspired, Be Inspired with Carol.com, just if you hit that pinned post, it will take you to everything Be Inspired. The blog, um, the craft club, all of that. So I just pulled this one out of the vault. So I'm super excited. I got it back. I think it's super cute. It says, be yourself. We have one that says, be happy. And we have one that says, be kind. <laughs> okay. And then it gives you instructions on how to do the kit. And then there's a, the company comes out with their own video. So if you don't catch me or you get your box and you don't have, you know, know how to make it, you can always go to this um, QR, QR code, yes, QR code and get your instructions. But we're gonna do it together. Cloudy in Georgia. Car just in time, right Trish? Uh, it's kind of cloudy here. Too. Well, I shouldn't say that. Now the sun's kind of coming out. Guess what? I agree. It's a nice size and I love the yellow. So that's what you get. Plus, plus, <laughs> okay, you're going to need the ink. So what's different is there's two types of products that they have. It's ink and it's chalk paste. The ink is what you use on fabric. And then I'll tell you the tips on how to make that permanent. So you'll be able to wash the towels and everything else. Um, so they give you your little packet. Snowing gallery, oh my gosh, in April? I actually, I shouldn't say that. I had some friends um, back home in Chicago text me and say that they had snow. <laughs> it's like, the latest I remember snow in Chicago was March. I did not remember April. Oh, hey, Eileen. Okay, so they give you this black ink, okay? And then they give you the squeegee. So this is the tool that you need to apply the ink. And then this is the ink. Some months, like last month, I got the Easter banner and I got two colors. I got the pink and the green. So each month you get this kit that's sent to you, but it's complete to make a project. <laughs> now he's like, I know, that's Michigan. <laughs> Um, and thank you for spreading the honey. I appreciate it. Snowing in PA. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I think April. I don't think snow, but hey, Lori. Okay, so we're going to do the iron going because you're going to want to iron this. These are, you know, folded up, wrinkled. And when I usually put my towels on my... Um, stove, the way that I do it, or my oven door, is I do it in threes. So I basically put this, fold it like this, and then I fold it like this. Let's see if that's big enough for the design, because the design is big. So before I, yeah. So again, if you missed it, so these are pretty big towels, okay? You can 100% fold it in half and, you know, hang it over your, your oven door if that's what you do with it. I typically fold it in thirds. So here's my towel. Just you guys. So I go third this way. Okay, so I go to like the middle and then I bring this other one and I bring it to the other side. I personally like that width, so when I fold it, that's what's hanging on my um, stove. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iron it that way. I don't use these towels unless, unless your daughter lives with you like I did. Ashley used to, <laughs> came, Ashley's up in college now, but she was in college in Kansas, decided maybe she wants to be closer to mom, came to Florida for a year, 
and I have always had decorative towels, always. Her entire life, we have had decorative towels on the oven door. Nope, not my Ashley. <laughs> my Ashley uses the decorative towel. So we'll make them washable so that if you have an Ashley, no worries. <laughs> oh, thanks, Patsy. We just brought this one back from the vault. Oh, good. I'm glad you caught me too, Fern. Okay, so like I mentioned, you're going to fold it into a third. Fold it this way. I have my iron on. Cracks me up. That kid cracks me up. Sometimes she does things and Bill's like, well, maybe she doesn't you know. She knows. <laughs> she, she's also the kid that when she was with us, um, I have that noodle board. So if you want to make a noodle board from a Goodwill transformation, it's on the blog, which is that linked post. Um, I made the noodle post or the noodle board. Love it. Yep. Back then we had a... Um, we had a electric grill and Ashley didn't wait for it to cool and almost burned the house down. Okay, I'm trying to get it as even as possible. So, I, I always laugh, people laugh at me because I call her my Ashley. <laughs> oh, you got the be kind, it's there. If you go to the pin post, you can go to the blog and go to my shop. Um, this is not in my shop. This is Magnolia. Okay, I'm sorry I'm fussing, but I'm trying to really make it straight and it's really bothering me right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I just take my iron and I'm going to iron it. I'm just going to give it a nice surface. <clears throat> oh, Valerie, you got the shirt. Thank you. Hope you love it. I love the design. It's just cute. Just a cute. We can't be be inspired and not have B shirts. <laughs> and so I decided to take it out of the vault. More stuff is coming. We do have, for you grandmas out there, we do have our first um, grandma collection shirt out. You guys got to go see the same. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, and more to come. So. Oh, Lori, is it frozen? Go in and out. I don't know what's with my internet today. Okay, so I haven't used Magnolia's ink, um, so we'll see how I do. Some people have trouble with it, some don't, so we'll see. We'll see. Like, I feel like I want to test it, but then I'm like, no, I'll be fine, I'm thinking. Okay, so see what that is? So it's nice and smooth, it's nice, and it's like the perfect width, all of that. I know Kathy's on the shirt. Adorable. Kathy should know. Kathy, every time Kathy's on, because Kathy's in our club, um, how many grandchildren do you have, Kathy? I want to say 10, if not more. Okay, so now what you're going to do, go grab some painter's tape, because I'm going to show you something. Um, I just have two-inch painter's tape. So this is a complete kit you get from Magnolia. Uh, I can't believe it's Monday. <laughs> it's like this. Oh, seven great grands. Oh my gosh. See, that's awesome. With us being here in the villages, obviously um, there's a lot more grandkids around. So it kind of makes us go like, oh, that'll be fun when we have them. Bill, can you imagine grill, Bill, grill. Bill, Bill as a grandpa? <laughs> uh, okay, so you just cut them. Okay, and what I said was so cool. If after you get these, you can build your collection with more chalk paste or more ink, and you can do this over and over and over. This isn't a one and done project. It's basically these are yours, so you can do what you want. Oh, Nettie, your kit's on the way. Good. Yes, I love that style of towel, too. Okay, so let's do, <laughs> I don't know. You're going to take your transfer, okay? I put my ink out in little cups. You can leave it in there. I don't know if there's a right way or wrong way. Just make sure you don't get any on your fingers, 
They give you a lot, I feel, but let's see. So just make sure you have, Carolyn has seven grands. Oh my gosh, and 12 great grands? That's awesome. That's the fun part. Yeah, I said, I'll, I'll, my, <laughs> my daughter has a lap. And I always joke, like, grandma's called it. Like, <laughs> we don't really have, so I can't imagine what I would be doing with, you know, with real people, <laughs> real grandchildren. Ah, Trish would love it. Okay. So there's our black ink. And you're just going to peel the back. Like I said, I haven't used their ink, so we'll see how this goes. Hey, Patty. Okay. All you're doing is getting your transfer off your backing. You can just pull it off. Okay. What's important, too, is there's two sides to your transfer. There's one shiny side and a dull side. You want to make sure that when you put the transfer back that you put it on the right side. My pen's not writing. Um, so right back on, on the back. Just so you know that you're not putting your transfer on that one. Yes, that's true, Sheila. You actually got more. Oh, use it for another package. That's a great tip. So what Sheila's saying is don't do what I do. Kind of just Squirt it out as you need it, and then you could probably like reseal this little packet and you can use it for other projects. What did the layer behind to prevent it from going through the... What do you layer behind? I don't... That's a good point. That's a good point. I wasn't going to layer anything behind it. But I guess you should. Okay, let me go get a piece of cardboard. That's a great point. Thanks, guys. <laughs> We've probably got some Magnolia experts on here. Okay, let me get my transfer on first. So the important thing with the transfer is just, ooh, it's bills, um, is laying it down and making sure it's really secured down. So these are reusable. Yeah, Lori, I'm going to do that. Thank you for reminding me. Liz, it's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Real simple. So if you're not, um, you know, if you're not one that has a Cricut like we do, um, and this is an alternative, like a cutting machine or something like that. Okay, let me go get a piece of cardboard. Right? A piece of cardboard? I'm trying to see. Hold on. Well, that's not good. Okay, let's do, I don't have a piece of cardboard, so let me just do, I got a piece of cardstock. So let me just do the cardstock. Look at that, like it was made. <laughs> Sometimes there's like live gods and they, this is like the exact size. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick it in there. Oh my gosh, that was like perfect. <laughs> that doesn't happen often, ladies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I'm amazed. Okay, so I got my little piece of cardboard. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of my painter's tape. So the reason for the painter's tape is, um, might not go through thick enough. Oh yeah, that's true. But better safe than sorry. So you take the painter's tape because there could be like right here, there's an edge and you might want to like, you might get your ink on there. So the painter's tape is just like a extra, um, you know, safety precaution. Very good, right? So I just put it on all four sides. So again, this is Magnolia's craft kit for April. If you sign up um, now, you'll get it and it's reoccurring every month. So you can cancel after three months. So if you get them for three months and you try them out and it's not for you, you can cancel. They have a couple kits, Fran. 
or Fern, I'm sorry. Yes, they have a couple kits. You can definitely, you don't have to do the subscription. Um, you can simply buy products. If you go to the link, you could go there. It'll take you to the main page as well, and you can go check it out. Oh, Nellie just ordered her kit. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to take my squeegee. And the trick is you don't want to put a lot, like, where it's going to bleed. So I would put, yeah, that is a lot of ink. Thank you, Sheila. Okay. So I have my ink on here. And I'm going to just dip and go. Dip and go. Didn't I say this is like made for me? <laughs> and what you're doing is you're keeping your squeegee at like a 45 degree angle and then you're pushing down. So those little mesh holes, um, and super easy. Okay, so just make sure, pull off your excess. Pull off, oh yeah, you got plenty of ink. <laughs> got me thinking about a song. <laughs> um, okay, so there's your one. I'm gonna make sure before I touch my, um, cause the ink is permanent. Like, um, it, it's not something where if you get the ink on your towel that you can wipe it off. So you just be careful. Okay, so that's, that's what I got. It looks good to me as far as like coverage. Okay. What you got? <laughs> now this is the fun part. Hey, my husband. Right in time. <laughs> How much are the kids? They're $19.99 and then it's $5 shipping. Okay, this is the fun part, guys. That's Ooh. awesome. Ooh. Yay. Look Let how it cool. be. Let it be. Oh, see? And there's the paper. <laughs> So make sure you put like the cardboard, but look how cool that is. I love that. Oh, I see the hearts. Everybody's hello, Bill. Okay. Yay. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> good thing you have the paper. Yeah, good thing I have the paper. Um, okay. See how cute that is? And I'm gonna show you something else we could do to it too. It's not for me. It is um I'm a creator for Magnolia, but it's Magnolia that preps your package and does all of that. Mary Lou says, hi, Bill. So cute. Super cute. So here's the fun part. Then you're going to take this transfer. We're going to do the other one so you guys can see the honeybee one. Okay. So there's your transfer. You're going to take this. You're going to put it in the sink. You're going to rinse it uh, with warm, soapy water. I just wipe it off. And then put it on a mat with the sticky side up, okay? And then you let that dry. Once it's dry, you put it back on, you get your backing, you roll back on the other side, this side is shiny, and then you get your mat, um, you put your transfer on here and you can use it for tons of projects. Um, so I'm gonna just leave mine to the side. That's one towel. And then I'll tell you the tips on how to make it permanent. Let's do the yellow one. Thanks for hopping on, guys. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do it in thirds. Love, love, love. Isn't it? And super easy. Super easy. Um, and for being my first time using ink, it's easy to do. Okay. So here's this towel. Okay. Do you use soap to clean your, yes, I use soap. I use soap and water. I use like Dawn soap. And then it, it comes right off. And sometimes your transfer won't come off like the ink, but as long as the mesh part is clear, you can, I mean, it's fine. It's fine to use. 
and you and again they're reusable so you can use them for other projects okay let's get that on there see all the heart thanks guys appreciate the love okay we've got that i'm gonna turn that off i'm gonna reuse my tape since we have it okay take this one if i missed your questions i will go back you have to see the honeybee one <laughs> all right all right put this one but how fun you can make gifts for uh, Mother's Day, you could make them for co-workers. Like I said, there's always a birthday or a holiday or something. And like I said, if you don't want to do um, the towels, like the kit comes with the towels, but once you make the towels, you can use these transfers for other things. Oh, Arlene, which village do you work in? Okay, and put your fingers, make sure you get them down. Make sure you write back on the back. Yeah, we just moved to the villages. Put that there. Okay, let's do the, put our paper. This is dry, so I'm good. I'm gonna put our little paper. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm going to, I have my fabric glue. Cause we're gonna add fabric glue um glue gun oh, hello <laughs> so let me get that there that's my fabric glue. we're gonna add a little ribbon to it okay so i put my paper in here my card stock so if you don't have um cardboard okay i'm gonna take my squeegee my little black ink and i think it was sheila yeah you got plenty of ink like I feel bad wasting it, but it is what it is. Make sure it's all on there. Do you guys have questions? I did, Carolyn. I did. I, I didn't have cardboard, but I have um, cardstock. So it definitely prevented it. Uh, Lady Lake across the street from the Target I work. Oh, okay, Arlene. Our in-law, my in-laws, not Bill's parents, my in-laws, are in Spanish Springs. We're all the way south. We're we're in the new subdivisions. Oh, thanks, Nettie. Okay. <laughs> you guys know better than I do. Okay, let's get this. Thank you. Get your painter's tape on there. Thank you, thank you, Nettie. Let's protect it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Put your tape on. Yes. <laughs> I am so excited. Crap, talk, <laughs> all the things. <laughs> all right. You're going to push down. Okay. And you can see where, okay, this honey pot's going to be cute. I'm afraid to take a lot of ink. So if you see me dipping, that's why. It's like I'm afraid, I don't want bleeding. But I guess I should put more because I'm scraping it more than I should. Oh yeah, plenty, plenty of ink. But again, I think this is my second kit. So as you start using them and doing them, you'll get more need. So that's ink. So when you're doing it on fabric, you use ink, okay? Because I'll show you, tell you how you make it permanent. Okay, and then I have my glue gun, so let's take this off. My painter's tape, don't touch. Make sure it doesn't touch anything. I think it's gonna be cute. So I'm gonna replace the Pioneer Little Bunny ones that we did uh, with these. And I can change them out if I want. Okay, this is actually, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing a lot of bee crafts uh, this month. So, 
or this, yeah, coming up. So make sure you guys are there texting. Okay, let's take this off. Okay, I did have a little bleeding, but not crazy, not crazy. So put that in there, and I'm just being honest with you, because it's not going to be, what is that? Oh, it's, can you guys see that? You can barely see it, but it's on the Y right there. So on the Y, I got a little, a little too much. So it's not as crisp, but I'm okay with it. Um, the more you do it, the more you practice, the better you will get. Um, but for me, that works. That works. So then we'll take, yeah, then, see? <laughs> oh, shoot. I should have done it on the other side. It was a kind of cool design. I could have had like something I could frame or something. I could have two for one. <laughs> That's recommended using disinfectant wipes. Oh, disinfectant wipes. Yes, you can use, um, I don't know if you use disinfectant or baby wipes. I just take mine to the sink and I wash them. Um, but whatever, whatever you have on hand. And like I said, once you wash them, then you take them out and then you, um, you know, lay them with the sticky side up. Okay. I think it was Sheila. You have plenty, plenty of ink left. So I think I have like little, I think I have like little containers somewhere. I know I have them. I know I have like little containers so I can always put them in there. Put the rest of it, like scoop it up and put it in that container um, to save the ink. No baby wipes, they have oil. Look how cute that is. Aren't they cute? Okay, and then if you wanted to, I don't know if we're gonna do it or not, but if you wanted to, you could add a ribbon. So let's add that. That's actually cute. But what's important? Oh, let's let's slow down. So before you start getting crazy and decorating it, you're gonna want to make it permanent, okay? Because if it is a towel that you plan to put in the in the washing machine. What you'll do is you'll let this dry, preferably overnight, okay? There's no rush. Let it dry completely, okay? Come back the next day. Take a piece of parchment paper. Where did my parchment paper go? Moment. <laughs> You're gonna let it dry. You're gonna get a piece of parchment paper the next day. You're gonna put it over there and you're gonna take your iron and you're going to heat set your ink into your fabric. And what that means is you're like infusing the ink and the um, fabric together so that when you wash it, it doesn't come to, to, it goes away. That is why you use ink and not chalk paste. Chalk paste is removable, it's washable, that's why you can put it on the chalkboards and just erase it. Ink is for fabrics. Oh, you love it. Oh, and your nickname. <laughs> Your nickname is Honey Dory, really? Um, so that's what you would do to heat set it, okay? If you're also going to add something, buttons, ribbon, fabric, anything to your towel, you want to make sure that you use fabric glue hot glue. Don't use regular hot glue, use the fabric hot glue, and the reason is Again, it's washable, so it will keep your material on there. So those are my tips for you if you want to make sure that you're going to have a towel that's going to last. I mean, you don't want to go through all this work and then have it fall apart. So I got this black little gingham. I'm going to take... That good? Yep. Turned out so cute, right? So all I'm gonna do is take my fabric hot glue, I'm gonna run it on the back of my ribbon. Okay, so there's hot glue on there. Then I'm gonna lay it down. 
I'm eyeballing it. It doesn't. It's straight. And if you wanted to, you could have um, like scrunched it up if you wanted to do that. Loving the towels. Good, Liz. I'm glad. Just make sure your ends. So. That's all you do. You just add your fabric glue. So like I said, if you wanted to add buttons, if you wanted to add something else to your towel, just make sure that you're using the right glue. Oh, Debbie, just go to the pin post um, and that will take you and they'll say Magnolia Craft Kits. Um, it's the craft club. So it's Magnolia Craft Club and this month, all about the bees ladies it's all about the bees so like i said i wash my transfers you can make other projects with it we might be making another one who knows cute 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 yes barbara the kits what i love about the kits are they're complete there was nothing other than the ribbon that i added to it it gave me the ink it gave me the squeegee it gave me the surface and it gave me my transfer it not only gave me one transfer it gave me two transfers um, so for the price, I do feel it's worth it. Okay. Are they cute? Cute, cute. <laughs> so these are going to replace my bunny ones now that Easter is over. So like I said, so simple, so simple. And I love that they give you the towels. I really do. So tomorrow I'll come back. I'll let these dry overnight. I'll come back. I actually did a really good job ironing this one. This one, not so much. Um, so when I come back and heat set it, it's gonna look so much better. Oh, I'm glad. Very nice. Oh, good. I'm so glad you guys like them. Good. Okay, that's our lunchtime live. So make sure you guys get on the texting. Go check out the store because we did get some new shirts in or shirts added back from the vault. Um, yes, Barbara, I think it's a great deal too. Sign up. If you do sign up for the club, make sure that you let me know in the comments below so I can personally thank you. Um, it's fun. I think it's fun. I'll be doing this monthly so you can come out, check out the craft um, kits. And uh, that's it for now. Now a bee noodle board. Yes. Don't tempt me, Liz, because I love the one I have, but I bit itching for something else. Um, so we might have to do that. Love them. Good. Do you guys have any questions before I hop off? I'll, I'll wait and see if you do. Because sometimes I just feel like I, I hit the finish button. <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome. I see all the hearts. Yay. Good. Um, a bit. <laughs> Dory's like, yes, a bee noodle board, right? <laughs> I might have to do like one that I can change it out because I don't think I could ruin, not ruin, but I don't think I could paint over the one I have. So I'd probably have to either make one or, which I know a lot of my crafty friends have made them and I can just stencil it or cricket it or transfer it, all the things. For this is the tutorial that I give when I do the craft kits and then um, the company itself comes out with their own video. But I'm there if you have questions, absolutely. I, will I be doing a separate tutorial? No, this is it. <laughs> Where do you get? Uh, Alice, go to the pin post and uh, go to Magnolia Craft Club. Learn something new. Oh, that's so good, Susan, I'm glad. I'm glad. That's what I love. I love teaching. I, I think that was an aha moment for me recently for some reason um, that I do love to teach. I do love to teach. And I don't know why because I'm this is I always joke this is season four ladies. We four years going in. This is three three years fourth year. We're going into our fourth year of lives. <laughs> oh welcome. Is that P.L. Howard? Welcome. First time watching. Great. Good. Okay, ladies, have a great rest of your day. I will see you sometime this week uh, with more bee crafts. And um, we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye.